Hello. In this video, uh, I am going to encourage you and set you free to carve out your own business related issue from uh, the course content. So I encourage you really to uh, analyze the course content and uh, find those business issues that you consider as relevant. And in this uh, video I'm going to uh, show you the project business framework and I'm going to expose you what kind of uh, areas there are in these four uh, management, uh, uh, larger management areas or what kind of a business issues might be related to each of these four uh, management areas. But I do this only to catalyze your thinking and uh, kind of uh, awake your uh, creativity. So definitely do not take, for example, this kind of a framework too explicitly. And I would really suggest you not to use this framework as is, although it might uh, in the first place uh, look like a look, like, lucrative thing to take this framework and start positioning the course contents in this framework. So do not do that because I think that that would only uh, give uh, too much rigidity to your own thinking and uh, uh, it would uh, kind of a in a negative way uh, probably um, um, make you to do something that is given from outside. So just uh, take this uh, freely and uh, these are my messages and uh, look uh, the course contents and uh, if they are useful these things that I'm uh, telling in you in this video so uh, then you use them and if they are not uh, useful so you find uh, much uh, more interesting uh, business uh, issues uh, from the course contents than I even can uh, provide in this video. Okay, just to make you think out of the box and think of your own. Okay, uh, I think that the project business framework uh, is uh, familiar to many of you. Uh, from some other uh, readings and some other videos. Uh, but I explain this uh, quickly. So we can uh, distinguish between the four uh, different uh, management areas uh, based on these two dimensions, whether we are talking about one project or many projects or one firm or many firms. And uh, when we are talking about uh, one project, typically we assume that it is connected to certain one parent firm uh, and uh, it kind of uh, renews the business of the parent firm or somehow supports uh, the business activities of, of one firm. Then when we are talking about uh, uh, one firm and many projects, we might have a portfolio view, uh, uh, how the firm uses projects in its uh, management. Uh, then projects are complex entities. We may take a network view uh, of one project and many firms participating in that project. Uh, we are talking about managing a project network, so we use uh, different firms as resources to the complex project. And all projects are to some extent, of course, complex, at least in that sense that uh, there is organizational complexity that many uh, different parties or actors are participating in that project. And then we have uh, many projects and many firms where certain firms uh, do projects together every now and then in the future uh, and some don't. So different firms uh, are integrated together by the projects over time. So there is a kind of evolution 
uh, of uh, firms and projects uh, uh, doing every now and then uh, with the same or different uh, firms uh, in, in, in the past, uh, in, in, uh, in present and uh, in the future. Okay, uh, hey, uh, now uh, in the next slide I'm going to show uh, some uh, questions on each of these uh, four uh, management areas just uh, to provide an understanding uh, of uh, what kind of uh, management uh, issues that are connected to business there might be in each of these uh, areas. So again, don't to, uh, take this too explicitly uh, when you are looking at the course content, but uh, look the course contents uh, in a, with your own creative eyes and uh, find out uh, the business contents that you want to find there. In this first area, management of a project, uh, interesting uh, issues might be whether the project uh, is about to uh, do something according to given instructions and uh, predetermined plans. So the kind of a project strategy or a project's own strategy or uh, is uh, the purpose of the project to renew uh, the company's business, the parent company's business uh, and find uh, kind of outcomes that are uh, new and surprising also for the uh, parent company. Uh, then uh, in the Second area, management of a project-based firm or management of a firm uh, where we really um, uh, actually are talking about management of the organization and how the organization does projects. The interesting question is that how projects are started there, whether there are different project types and how they are managed differently and how the projects are connected to the firm's business model. Okay, then uh, in uh, the area uh, number three, management of a project network, we are talking about uh, uh, a network view of a project uh, where there are multiple organizations or firms connected to the project and uh, they are surrounding the, pro uh, the project. So the boundaries of the project are continuously changing as new actors enter and uh, others exit uh, when they have done the job. Then area number four, uh, the management uh, of a business network. Uh, that is a network of firms and their relationships and during time, every now and then, some firms may or may not participate in uh, doing projects together with others. Uh, okay. Uh, then uh, if we still uh, come a little bit back uh, to this framework uh, as I have drawn it in uh, this flipboard uh, is that uh, when we are talking about firms we might as well, excuse me, we I just fetched a pen for you, uh, so or for me <laughs> to explain you something. Uh, so we might uh, actually uh, uh, also talk about public organizations or we uh, may interpret the uh, concept of firm or the definition of firm very broadly. So it can be a function of an organization or a unit or a department of an organization. So uh, if we think a project that is internal to a firm, so definitely the project uses uh, resources from many functions or many units and in that sense uh, the project needs uh, to integrate uh, different uh, parties or different organizational entities with different uh, business interests even. 
So we can also use this framework by looking at uh, internal projects to a company. So please uh, be free to interpret uh, the uh, uh, word firm here uh, very broadly. And uh, then accordingly, this management of a business network might be uh, the internal local market within the company uh, where the internal project uses uh, these uh, uh, different organizational entities within uh, one big company, for example. Okay, uh, but then to get out from this framework, as I said, that do not uh, take this too seriously or too explicitly and definitely do not use uh, this framework uh, so uh, rigidly in your analysis. So I have listed here some uh, points that might also give you food for thought of what to look at. And these are more general uh, aspects of uh, thinking about the business content. The business inside the project of its own right, the project as an engine, the business content of the firm and the projects and how those businesses of the firm and the projects are connected. Project competencies at the firm level, at the project level, learning. What is really interesting is the learning inside an individual project. Many times we talk about learning uh, in the firm, uh, but of course the learning inside the project is connected probably to learning uh, uh, in the firm. And here this bullet underlines the connection between the two learning cycles. So projects as business transactions between firms, projects for creating new business, renewing uh, the firm's business, uh, the innovation content in projects, and business models for modeling both the project's business, a single or individual project business and the firm's business. So again, this list is to just to kind of a wake your uh, creativity of thinking yourself. You don't need to stick to these things, but uh, maybe this helps you to think out of the box when you are analyzing the business content in uh, the course. Okay, that's it. Bye.